Picture this. One year ago, I'm a sixth grader, and it's my first year of middle school. I see multiple friend groups sitting all together, reuniting, and I realize I never truly had a friend group. Two years ago, I had about three friends in elementary school that were in my class, but we didn't have periods or different classes with different people. We had the same group of people in the same classroom at the same lunch table every single day. It was super hard to make new friends when you were trapped with your same peers. I was so focused on not being lonely in fifth grade that I pushed you hard to make friends, leaving, with, leaving me with the three I told you about. So I kind of went, went along with it until that first day of sixth grade. I'm walking into the small gym, all just so up, hoping my parents will get me new friendships, and sitting on the bleachers looking for my new friends, and they were all with different people that I did not know. It was the reason why I truly understood that I needed to make new friends. But the thing is, I knew I had to, just that I kept out of myself. To the point between third and sixth grade, I had many, many rough days. I was mean to others, I left out others, and I ignored others. It was to the point where I realized I was acting the way people were actually treating me. I thought that the only way to fit in was to copy others and be more similar. But the only reason I did this was that I didn't know how to interact with people. I didn't want to show myself to other people, and I was a kind child when I wanted to be. But at school, there was always this face mask that I kept on having, and it kept getting worse and worse over time, until sixth grade. Yes, back to the small gym of bleachers. It's the first day of sixth grade, and I'm, like I was saying, I walked in, and I'm on the bleachers hoping someone will talk to me, because those three friends obviously weren't the right people to hang out with. I kept praying and praying that someone new would walk into the gym. And about five minutes after squinting my eyes and shaking my body relentlessly, she had black hair, brown eyes, and looked up my height. She was so sweet and shy that she reminded me of myself. Behind me was long layers of skin. Fake skin. We could get close, but she would never let me. She only talked about herself and what her old, fr old friends were like. And now she was trying to remind me of a fake skin I held. The cover. That's when I knew this friendship, sadly, wasn't going to last. A few weeks later, after the first day of school, after walking to my Spanish class, appearing late, I take a close seat to ne next to a girl. She wore a scrunchie with her dirty blonde hair and had glasses like me. I walked with her and asked her how she was. The conversation didn't last long. It was mostly small talk. The conversation that I didn't like. But I didn't want to come on too strong as, if it, as it could impact the future of leader if we were be to become friends. At school, lunch was always a problem for me. I would be sitting alone at times because of the friend drama. There would be people still moved to see if I was okay. And I would say I was, even though I wasn't. I didn't try hard enough to receive help or talk to people. I thought I would be fine, but sometimes I could never actually eat, and I would throw everything away. Teachers would ask me, you're not hungry? And I would say, I am. I can't eat right now. Too much on my mind. Recess has also been a hard struggle for me. Remember that new girl I had a conversation with earlier? The one from Spanish class? Well, she's part of our group that always seemed interesting to me, meaning I wanted to join too. So I asked her to introduce me to them, and she did. They would fool around and seem close while I would just be standing there. It was hard for me at some point in time, but it got easier to communicate with others over time. Our friendship was mostly based on jokes, tea, and talking about life, and what shows we watch. The tea was a hard situation for all of us. That's what threw me especially off the edge, if I were to get involved. And trust me, I did it every time. When I started getting to know them individually, it was hard to pull back from the habit of talking about the tea. Oh, and when tea means the latest things are drunk. But anyway, since the tea mostly formed the little mini groups from the big group, I was in a chat circle with about two other girls. That new girl and this other one was freckled. Sometimes we would gang up on each other, and sometimes they would say, you're out of the group, or we can't be friends anymore. But every time, we'd make up. But every time, I kept doubting and doubting myself. When thinking about having to apologize or make up with them, there was no need to, but I was just scared to lose them and be left with no one. And I did. Sometimes I would even think to myself, are they even my real friends? Should I give up? Am I not enough for them? And I did. I gave up. So throughout sixth grade, I'm sure you all know as the audience, I was in a, long, a lot of trauma. And the main point I wanted to touch with you 
our state is that this is all caused by my self-confidence and doubt. It's not the doubt where you have to choose a pizza or pasta for dinner. It's the doubt where you either have to believe in yourself or you don't. And this is what I struggled with all last year. But now, I'm done. Done with the thick skin, done with the doubt.